Hi, yo, welcome back to Dish Nation. Now, right now, I'm sitting down with talk show radio host, actress, author, comedian, uh, all around businesswoman, Lonnie Love. Did I miss anything? Because there's a lot going on. <laughs> you forgot sexy. Yo, sexy too. She giving up the goods in the summertime. Quarantine <laughs> fine over here. How's everything going with you, sis? <laughs> you know what, bruh? It's like, uh, it's going good. I mean, I'm, e- I'm eating good. I'm just, I'm learning the TikTok, and I'm just, you know, doing my thing. So I'm all right. Okay. Now you're also the new voice of the hit reality series, Bridezillas. Now, if you had yeah. to rate your co-host on the reel on a scale of one to ten, who would be the worst Bridezilla to deal with? One to ten, Jeannie would be a five. I would definitely say that, you know, and I'm just waiting for her and Jeezy to get together because I'm pretty sure that's going to prove me right. So Tam would definitely be an eight, but the most bridezilla would be Adrian Hope. Yes, 10, 10, and another 10. Now, there's so many different projects you got cooking up right now, but let's talk about your new book, I Tried to Change So You Don't Have to, True Life Stories. Now, it's a very deep title, Lonnie. Tell us what it's all about and what some of the life lessons we can take away from your book. You know, I just wanted a book to show my American story. I think, you know, with everything that's going on, um, the thing that I implore everybody to do, especially, you know, um, people of color and especially my black people, is to record your story. And so this is actually my story from growing up in the projects to becoming an Emmy-winning talk show host. It's full of hope, which is what we need right now. It's inspiration and it's some laughs. That's what it is. See, Olani, <laughs> I want to play a game which you call Keeping It Real with Lonnie love the way it's gonna work is i'm gonna ask you a couple questions and you got to keep it real what you do every day on the real are you ready okay okay All right. so we know you have a man and everything but if you could kiss our boy Chui martinez again would you oh definitely i'm still kissing him it don't matter okay cool that means you enjoyed it <laughs> so you still got a shot you know when you when you when you like you know before you put the ring on it say i do like if somebody objects <laughs> i can be sure we even got I just keep them on the side. Okay. <laughs> Everybody need a, a hibernation piece, you know, just in case things get chilly in the house. Ah, Ronnie, God. it's here to share the love. I love it. All right. <laughs> what was the craziest celebrity interview you guys ever had on a reel? I would have to say um, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard came, and, you know, he we loved him. We were excited. And when he sat on that couch and we said hello, then he started going in a whole different direction. And he started going in the cosmics, and it was deep. And we were like, uh... And I was like, Terrence, with all due respect, can you answer this question? We just asked how you do it. He was like, the moon and the stars is, you know, because of it. And it was really deep, but it was like, it was, it was deep. But then, it, you know, when you're under a, a live format and you only got six minutes, you're trying to get the thing. So it just became this weird interview. So you can, you can check it out. But Terrence Howard. Keep fighting a good fight, Lottie Love. And thank you for keeping it real right here on Dish Nation. 